Hello, my name is Matthew Highcove with BMC Atrium Orchestrator. Today I'd like to talk about the Spawn activity, one of the activities in BMC Atrium Orchestrator Development Studio. Normally, a workflow executes one and only one activity at a time. A Spawn activity is responsible for splitting a workflow into two or more paths that run simultaneously. These paths run their activities in order, just like they do in any workflow. Once all the paths have finished, the workflow continues from the join activity at the end of the spawn. Because each path has access to the same context items, adapters, and other workflows, it can take actions without waiting for anything in the other paths to complete. Spawn activities are powerful, but there are guidelines for when they are most useful. The best time to use a spawn is when you need to take multiple actions that do not rely on each other especially when those actions can take a long time or are hard to manage all at once. For example, you can use a spawn to extract multiple values from a large workflow input, which may be easier to manage and edit than a single large assign activity with many rows, or to connect two systems or use two adapters at once, like updating a remedy ticket while writing to a file. Because each spawn has a hard-coded number of paths, you can also use it to limit a workflow's activity. You could use a spawn to take the first four values from your input and run them at once, instead of using a for loop to run them one at a time. Because a spawn executes requests in parallel, you should not use it for actions that you do not want to run together. If you have two paths trying to use or edit the same context item and one relies on the other, you could have a race condition where the path you want to run second actually finishes first. You also should not execute too many actions at once because each action does still take time and resources. Running a spawn with a hundred paths is like running a hundred workflows at once. You should use ten or fewer paths if you are working only with context items, and five or fewer if you are calling adapters or child workflows. Also, your spawns may be limited by other throughput restrictions. An adapter that can only process one request at a time will still only process one request at a time even if you use a spawn to send several at once. In this case, you must either increase the adapter's throughput or use a normal workflow path. Let's see what a spawn looks like in action. Here, I have a workflow with three paths, each of which adds a value to the same context item. I have pause activities in each path to make sure the utilities activities run in a specific order. If I ran all these activities in sequence, it would take at least 14 seconds for the pauses alone. But if I use a spawn, the workflow will run everything at once and it should take no longer than 5 seconds, the time of the longest running path. Normally you would not use pauses to force activities to run in a certain order, but this will demonstrate how the spawn runs activities in parallel. Let's test the workflow and provide a sample input. Now we run the workflow. You can see multiple activities highlighted as the workflow runs through them. When it completes, it returns my input with the text I appended. The workflow took about five seconds, which means everything ran at once as we wanted. In your workflows, you can do much more in each path, like running an adapter request or sending an email. You can find more detailed examples in the BMC Atrium Orchestrator content modules, especially Autopilot AD Utilities. This concludes the demonstration of the Atrium Orchestrator Development Studio spawn activity. Have a nice day.